1996, one of these rocks, a large meteorite called ALH 84001, collected more than 10 years earlier in Antarctica, became the most important rock in history. This meteorite had some glass inclusions in it. And when they picked those glass particles out and degassed them by heating, they got a sample of the Martian atmosphere. They confirmed the Martian atmosphere within the rock by matching this sample with analysis from the earlier Mars Viking mission, which sampled the planet's atmosphere in the 1970s. This was a rock from Mars. An ancient and massive meteorite impact on Mars had apparently sent material flying back out into space, where it ultimately collided with Earth. But that wasn't why ALH 84001 was so important. This rock would become the center of a media firestorm that would polarize the scientific community. In 1996, scientists concluded this ancient rock appeared to contain evidence of Martians. Not living organisms, but the fossilized and chemical remains of ancient Martian life. And that's why this meteorite has become the center of research over the years. Their evidence included chemicals that form from the breakdown of bacteria, iron oxide crystals that are formed on Earth by bacteria, and most compelling, what appeared to be fossils. There are tiny little objects within this meteorite that can only be seen with a high-powered electron microscope that look like fossilized, single-celled organisms, fossil bacteria. The scientists studying the rock determined that with such dramatic news as fossils from another planet, they needed to go public with their results. After studying it for better than two years, the team decided, OK, it's time to lay this hypothesis out to the scientific community. You know, we were overwhelmed with the reaction. It affected everyone from the highest levels of science down to the man or woman on the street. Because everyone can relate to, are we alone? Since that first announcement, some scientists have expressed skepticism about whether ALH 84001 proves the existence of extraterrestrial life. The original ideas have been now tested for over a decade, and a lot of the original ideas didn't hold up. Some of them may still have a little bit of life left in them, and depending on who you are, that's either enough to make you sure that the theory is right, or basically the proof that says it's not right. 